In this video I'm gonna show you the hardest counter for motor bait and how to win against them. So this is gonna be an interesting video because this is gonna be from start to finish how to play a perfect game and because against hard counters usually the game goes to overtime and you win from the tower damage most of the time. So I'm gonna show you how to like calculate the tower damage and timing and when to go in when to not go in and stuff like that how to defend in high pressure games so yeah we're playing against uh, a splash yard the uh, the og splash yard deck with grave uh, graveyard poison and baby dragon tornado ice waves barbell uh tombstone so yeah this is a counter this is a counter to our deck and uh, uh, one of the reasons uh, how i want win this game is because like the tombstone when uh, you gotta kill the tombstone for the motor to lock i'm gonna show you in a bit here what what i mean by that so for now i'm gonna uh, commentate my gameplay here and uh, yeah so i'm gonna try not to take as much damage as i can so he distracts with knight now he has tombstone so baby dragon look at the right side I'm gonna minion horde on top of baby dragon. My minion horde is still alive. He's forced to play something on minion, on the minion horde, uh, and uh, the minion horde actually kills his tombstone and reaches tower. I'm gonna get some damage here because he didn't play anything. So yeah, to counter the uh, tornado, I went like bats and hog to so he doesn't like tornado. But if they if they tornado, then I'm gonna get some damage. So yeah, I got some damage. We got his tower, his tower down to 3400. But he has Evo Knight right now in the on board, and yeah, he plays a uh, graveyard too. Now this is how I counter his graveyard. I just play bats on top of graveyard and distract the Evo Knight with spear gobs. I also zap some of the skeletons. So yeah, we didn't take that much damage, but still like there is like 100% damage when every time every single time they play graveyard and yeah i play evo motor on the right you gotta switch switch up you gotta switch up like a lot of times the lanes switch up lanes in this matchup because if you keep going one lane he's just gonna counter push so you should not play one one deck in this uh, oh i mean one lane in this matchup I also zap that as uh, skeletons to kill the tombstone faster I zap the tombstone but he also played log now he has tornado but my motor is alive and motor is gonna get one shot hog is also getting some shots and uh, the thing is if we don't get enough damage in double elixir then in triple elixir we cannot win against this deck because they're gonna spam graveyard and like it's too easy for them to defend our deck in triple elixir so we gotta do some damage in double elixir and yeah a uh, minion or i think yeah minion or right on top of them because they're gonna graveyard obviously so spear gobs just to counter the graveyard he doesn't have enough elixir for tornado so i also did not take that baby dragon so i surrounded th them with bats i killed the ice Swiss because and my evo motor is on board if that was normal motor i would not have fireballed that ice switch and then uh, the baby dragon i put like uh, i always try to kill the baby dragon with my minion horde because uh, otherwise the it doesn't get value you know and uh, there i just play bats i was trying to save my minion horde to make a push like minion horde and ho hog rider at the bridge but look at that like he has poison tornado and like that's his counter but he didn't play that at the right timing so my hog got a got a shot here i play bats and fireball immediately to kill that baby dragon actually but like just from the ice switch spawn damage my my bats died my all my troops died here i'm trying to cycle back to my evo motor now every time i have evo motor on my board i try to protect my evo motor because it gets we have to get value look at the right side i also play uh, guards because i knew he was gonna tornado my bats so yeah here i'm trying to tank m the baby dragon shots with my motor because we don't want tower damage right now there's 20 seconds left in the game he played poison so i went minion horde and hog rider at the bridge i also tried to distract them but uh, i switch got on my tower and my tower is down I currently have damage lead but 
The graveyard is 100% gonna get some damage. He also played tornado and I fireball at the last second. So yeah, this was like uh, kind of like close to a perfect game played and we fireball at the last second to win the game. Okay, another match and this is giant graveyard with lurprints and arrows. Now this is also a counter but it's not a hard counter. It's only a counter but it's not a hard counter. There's a difference, you know. Yeah, I fireball that lurprints so in a, in hope that my guards kill it but he just plays bowler in front now here i did a really big mistake i was trying to counter with hog and minion horde at the bridge but i misplaced my minion horde with mortar and he takes my tower literally just from one misclick he takes my tower there and uh, yeah i now i have to come back from this this position look at this position it looks really bad for me and i have to come back from this he has like evo archers and arrows and snowball to deal against my spam units so yeah keep keep watching to see how i come back so yeah guards on one side because arrows doesn't kill guards so i play all guards at one side and uh, yeah he just has arrows and he has like everything required to to stop my pushes you know hog gets a little bit of sh uh, shot but uh, that's not enough obviously my king tower is like almost half the hp it's like 4000 he plays giant graveyard now this is how you defend giant graveyard when your tower down you just spam all oh, just spam all your spammy troops so that like all of them are out of arrows range he cannot arrows everything you gotta play like that here I also motor because they are my spam is alive so I also motor I try to not take minions damage I also play spear gods to kill those minions too and I finally got his tower down to like 1300 and it's still not enough I have like 50 seconds left I try to like pressure him here and there I try to like fireball I also play jab at the perfect timing and that was tower my bat he didn't have anything for my bats at that time i got lucky there so yeah now we are kind of similar position but my king tower he he's gonna attack my king tower because it's so low and uh, minion hard to kill the little brains bats for that giant bats is not a good counter for the giant so yeah both of my towers are like half of their hp and uh, i just pressure here like he doesn't have anything for my bats so i just press her there and bats take like half half hp of his bowler here i'm trying to like split troops you always gotta split troops against like if your both towers are down i also play minion horde i'm trying to cycle out cycle these arrows to be honest right now i have my evo motor on deck i gotta protect my evo motor somehow anyway i kill the evo uh, evo archers my my evo motor got a shot and I tanked that one goblin with my hog rider so that <laughs> that one goblin gets a lot of damage something like that and <clears throat> yeah so I'm trying to like out cycle I'm actually trying to out cycle his arrows to be honest I know he's gonna a giant graveyard again so I play that motor there so that giant gets pulled but he didn't play a giant graveyard so that's fine and he has like a minions too it's not a big deal my hog can get to his tower every single time i play hog rider and i look at that uh, i play guards on the king tower and bats i always bats his giant to be honest and i got really lucky here there's like one giant hit away and now he doesn't have like uh, anything to stop my hog so i just play hog and fireball and that's tower he needed he needed bowler to actually counter my hog and he didn't have enough elixir because he just went giant graveyard so that was a risky play to defend giant with my bats only but it works somehow okay next match in this match we're playing against expo and expo is also a counter to my deck to be honest and uh, here i'm gonna get a lot of damage because uh, maybe starting hand you know like he didn't have fireball so i starting hand him a little bit but it's not much like he still have damage lead on me but yeah 
So against Expo, you actually have to get damage in a single elixir as much as you can. And in double elixir, like you gotta defend everything. Like you gotta have to defend everything. So, and uh, he's also playing the Archer Queen Tornado version. So I play Hog and Bats because if they have Tornado, you gotta go Hog and Bats, and uh, Bats are gonna get damage if you play on Tornado. So. My bats actually killed his archer queen. So yeah. We both played like <laughs> Expo and Mortar at the bridge here. And uh, I, I was thinking like he, he shouldn't have enough elixir for my minion herd. So my minion herd actually killed his Expo and my Mortar is still alive. I tank, I, I, I stopped that night and tanked them with my hog. So my Mortar can still get some hits. So yeah, my Mortar gets a lot of shots and... I'm up by like uh, 1300 HP right now and this is like this kind of damage you have to have to actually win like I'm not in an advantage right now like because in double elixir like he's gonna defend everything he, he's gonna have enough elixir to fireball tornado my bait cards so I need damage right now he plays archer queen in the back I think I played a motor at the bridge yep Play motor at the bridge. He actually fireballed my motor, and now I can play minion horde. But uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't want to play minion horde right on top of Archer Queen. And look at that. I play minion horde on Evo Knight, but he already cycled back to his fireball. Like that's a fast cycle deck. I try to uh, kill his Evo Knight with bats, but he has tornado too. I defended somehow, but he's up in elixir now and uh, he, he's playing like evo knight too so i was scared and i play defensive motor so yeah in double elixir i'm gonna start defending now because if we don't defend then like once uh, once the expo locks it's game over for me but if my motor locks he can defend it you know but if their expo locks then it's game over for me so in double elixir it's like always defensive now because i got my damage in single elixir and now I'm gonna try to defend in double elixir. Also minion horde, but uh, he has a fireball. Now this is what I was saying, like I don't have elixir and he can like pretty much counter my stuff. My damage lead is gone just like that. Like my damage lead is all gone. And here, here I'm just trying to uh, chip, chip the expo. I, I'm always gonna play a defensive motor and double elixir. Like if I go, <laughs> if I go a, a motor at the base, then it's like I'm gonna lose. So yeah, bats to surround the archer queen, but uh, still not enough. So I gotta jab that, and uh, he can just fireball cycle he, mm, here. To be honest, like if you fi uh, fireball cycles, then I cannot come back from this game. And even if uh, I play minion. Horde a hog at the bridge after he plays fireball he still has like cannon and tornado to counter everything so yeah and ability last second he also fireballs he's actually trying to fireball cycle here I play minion horde for that uh, cannon but look at how easy it is to defend for him just like one cannon and minion horde and it's like everything's just defended here I'm trying to motor at the bridge just because I need damage on my uh, on his tower to actually win. I'm down damage. He played fireball, so I play minion horde, but he can like ability and tornado and like everything just dead, you know, something like that. I just spam everything at the bridge for that expo, so <laughs> expo doesn't get any shots. And look at the damage lead. He's up by 300 damage. He also fireball my minion horde. Oh, and look at the left side. I, I actually completely forgot about the left side and I was just trying to put the <laughs> attack the right side and look at that I know he's gonna like tornado log fireball spend all his spells on my tower so I did the sneaky spear goblins at the last minute and they actually got damage enough so yeah that's that's all I wanted to show you guys and see you guys in the next video